Hello! Today, we'll go over how to set up the Raspberry Pi to mount a Windows Share during boot. Let's get started. First, we'll open up a terminal window. I'll press Shift, Control, Plus a few times to make the font larger. Let me drag this in the middle and make the window a little bit wider. The first thing we're going to need to do is turn on Network at Boot. And we can do this one of two ways. The first way is we can type in sudo space raspy-config. And then at System Options, we'll press Enter. And then arrow down to S6 Network at Boot. And then choose Yes. And OK. And Escape Out. The second way is to click on the Raspberry here, click on Preferences, and then Raspberry Pi Configuration, and then here, Network of Boot, Wait for Network, and click on OK. So once that's done, we need to make a credential file that will contain the username and password for the Windows Share we're going to attach to. By typing PWD, you can see we're at the slash home slash pi folder. I'm going to type in nano space dot sifs creds and press enter. So this credentials file is very simple. We'll type in username equal, and in my case, I created an account called test account. And then we type in password equal and then the password for this account. I don't recommend using this password. This is just a temporary simple password that we're going to use for this test. Now that we've entered that, we can press Control X. Save modified buffer. We'll press Y for yes and then enter to save this file. Now that we've created this file, we need to change the permissions on the file to tighten the security on it just a little bit. So we'll type in chmod space 600 space dot sifs creds and press enter. Now that we have the credential file in place, we need to edit the fs tab file to add the line to mount the sifs share. So we'll type in sudo space nano space slash etsy slash fs tab so we can arrow down to this pound sign press enter and go up so here we'll type in forward slash forward slash and the ip address of the system that you want to connect to and then the share name now we want to specify the mount point for this share. So in my case, it'll be slash home, slash pi, slash win share. And we'll type in SIFS. And now we'll specify the credentials file that we created earlier. So we'll type in credentials equal slash home, slash pi, slash dot sifs creds. We're also going to specify UID equal pi as well as GID equal pi. This will make it so that the mount point is set up by the pi user so we don't have to type in sudo whenever we want to create a file. We can just use the normal pi user. Finally we'll type in zero space zero. We can press control X to exit We'll say yes to save the buffer and return to save the file. Finally, we want to be sure that the mount point is set up. So in my FS tab, I specified that I wanted to use a folder called WinShare, which you can see right here. If the folder doesn't exist, go ahead and create the folder now to be sure that it does. So now we can type in sudo space mount. And we'll see all the mount points that are currently on this device. So now I'm going to type in sudo space mount space dash a. This will run through the fs tab file 
and mount the share that we created earlier. And this is just a test to make sure that it's working correctly. So at this point, I should be able to type in CD space win share. And when I do an LS, I'll see all my files that I have on my Windows share right here. Now I can type in touch and let's say test 7.txt and it should create the file, which it did. Now for the reboot test, we'll type in sudo space reboot. We've rebooted the Pi, it's back up. We'll drop to a terminal and validate that the share is there this way. So again, we'll press Control Shift X a number of times to make this larger. So now we'll type in CD space win share. And for you, whatever the folder name is that you created your mount point on. Now when I type in LS, I can see that I'm now connected to my share and it was connected during the reboot process. That wraps it up for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Stay creative.